Today I'm going to be playing a Patreon deck from Big Dave HS. And this is a Pirate Warrior list with a bit of a menagerie twist with Ringmaster's Baton and uh, Ringmaster Watley. So of course we already want to be playing Pirates in this deck. And we can use the first part of the quest to draw Ringmaster's Baton from the deck, which is nice. And then we just throw in a couple Anoyatrons as mechs, a couple Tent Trashers as dragons, and then we've got uh, two copies of Circus Amalgam as well to cover all our bases. So this deck was actually sent to me about a week ago, I think. But today seems like a good time to play it, because yesterday, three of the cards in this deck got buffed. Stonemall Anchorman got plus one health. Uh, Stormwind Freebooter also got plus one health. And Bloodsail Deckhand as well also got plus one health. I didn't realize that they were all the same exact buff. I don't think I keep a Noyatron. Greetings, traveler. Good old turn one Wolpertinger. Probably don't really have time to be greedy with conditioning in this matchup. That's interesting. I guess they're playing with the new buffed uh, selective breeder. Well, easy sword eater. Hungry, aren't ya? So those are what, four fives, five fives? Pretty scary. Good anchor man turn though. Uh, I don't think I really care about these 1-1s one -ones being in play, so I'll just go face. Do I want to hit with my weapon for any reason? Sure. Maybe next turn is Baton plus Amalgam. 6-7 Amalgam. And once again, I think I don't really care about the Wolpertingers being in play. My opponent might just be trading them off on their own for the weapon. So I'll take my free face damage.
So I can fire cannons this turn. I think I want to kill this before firing cannons. So maybe I just play like three pirates here. So I can play Rokara next turn if I want. See if this can draw Amalgam before hitting with the weapon. Okay, hit the 4-1, nice. Five five into a six two, you'd love to see it. This is starting to get a little out of hand, but Varian's pretty good here. Brawl is also pretty good. I think I just brawl, right? About a 50-50 chance for a good outcome here. Looks like one of my opponent's taunts live. Well, the Brawl was still really good this turn, and then maybe Varian next turn can uh, put me in a winning position. Pretty sure Varian is the play here. My opponent's showing 17 here. Probably want to play Tent Trasher at some point this turn. Uh, probably just Rakara Annoyatron Tent Trasher, right? And I think I'm approaching stabilization. Especially with three taunts in my hand. You don't take um, the cannon shots might make or break this game. Or I can just draw another Brawl. Wow, terrible cannon shots. This is a 5-6, a 3-6. Might just have to play Anchorman and hope I hit my Brawl. Oh. Okay. The biggest one lived.
Oh, those are really good cannon shots and a really good fire it. Might still be in this game. Taunt up and armor up. They're gonna get a, a rock off that, huh? They're still pretty low on resources, and they're giving me a pretty open turn here. So if I kill the 2-1 here, my opponent gets a rat. I'll just kill the Rat King again. I'm at five. Five is fine. It doesn't seem like a deck that's gonna have, uh, I don't know, any sort of damage. You don't fit the wand. I don't think the Wand Maker can be too disastrous here. Unless it hits, like, Resizing Pouch into something dumb. Probably an Overwhelm or a Wound Prey. Opponent's <laughs> at 17. I have 7, 8, 11, uh, 13. Well, probably just play conditioning, big taunt, big armor thing. I don't know if I really need to kill Barak, but killing it probably uh, cures the win here. Oh god. I was so close to dying. Shout out to Cargo Guard. Nice. After playing a couple of games with this deck, I don't really have too many complaints about it. I think the uh, the pirate package for Raid the Docks is pretty well-rounded. I think the Menagerie package is well-rounded. The Varian package is good as well. I don't really have any complaints about any of the cards in the deck, really. Other than maybe Brawl. It was definitely useful sometimes, but a lot of times it seemed like I was ahead on the board. But either way, I think it is probably fine in the deck. Uh, there are a few cards I considered adding, though. Probably the main one is Shiver Their Timbers. We are a bit of a slower Pirate Warrior deck, so Shiver Their Timbers just seems like it would make sense. But it is a little bit difficult to find the room for it. I don't think we can really cut the Pirates, which make up a big chunk of the deck, and all the other various packages make up a pretty big chunk of the deck as well. I don't think I'm really willing to cut Conditioning. That's a pretty good card. So really we're looking at like maybe Samuro, maybe Brawl, maybe Runthak. And honestly those might be the only flex slots. I guess maybe Talon as well. But I feel like Talon with Varian is pretty damn good. 
So I guess really the only change I would make at the moment is cutting the brawls for the Shiver their Timbers. And I think potentially this is an incorrect change and we should go back to brawl. But uh, one like low-key good thing about Shiver their Timbers is you tend to get um, Reaper Scythe a lot off your random weapon. So having a cheap spell to go with that is like kind of nice. And uh, Shiver Their Timbers is a lot better for that than uh, Brawl would be. Um, we could also consider playing Stage Dive. We play, I think, like six Rush Minions. It's just a pretty good card overall. Might make our Blade Master Samuro a little bit more consistent. Uh, we could play Minefield. Just a good card. We could play Barov. Once again, just a good card. Has a little bit of synergy with the cannon shots from uh, Raid the Docks. Has some synergy with Samuro as well. But at this point, I think if I'm cutting another card, it probably is just Samuro, so I'm not too sure about the Barov. And then, other than that, I think the only other cards to really consider are just more greed. So we could like lean into the Menagerie package a bit more and play Nazoth. We already play two Amalgams and uh, three uh, Unique Tribes, so we don't even really need to lean that much harder into Nazoth. Maybe just throw in, like, a Crush to go along with the Nazoth. So you could cut, like, Samuro and Runthak for Crush Nazoth. But I don't really... At the moment, I don't really think we need the Greed, and that is a lot of Greed to add to the deck. Maybe a smaller amount of Greed that we could add is just, like, Youthful Brewmaster. That way you can bounce Rakara and get a second Juggernaut. But I think generally going for the second Juggernaut is probably going to be more trouble than it's worth. But it is just a one card inclusion. And you can also just use it to like bounce a pirate for more quest progress. That could be pretty decent. So I think that would be my greed edition of choice. But as I said, I don't think we really need the greed. And overall, I don't think there are really many changes worth making to this list. My deck tracker is just really struggling at the transition between games. There's no way I keep a baton, do I? Maybe I do. Quest versus quest. Uh, do I want to use my shiver there timbers on that? Probably not. I feel like my opponent's going to have, like, a Sword Eater or something that I'd like to deal 5 damage to. Shiver their Timbers, good card. Um, I'll just play the Sword Eater. Might need the weapon for next turn. My opponent is definitely beating me on quest progression. But I've got bigger minions, so... I don't know if that's a good or bad thing for me. They've played, like, all their cheap pirates, though. So they might be playing, like, one Stone Maul Anchorman per turn at this point. And I could always draw into, like, my deck hands and harbor scamps. Also, it looks like next turn I'm playing Conditioning plus a 7-8.
So this is a shiver there, Timber's target, but uh, I think it just doesn't fit too well with the mana this turn. My opponent's down to 11 already. They are really close to playing Rakara, though. And unfortunately, that 6-7 does pretty well against my board. I guess I'm just going to go Talon so I can play Varian next turn. I don't feel too good about this. The first stage dive was pretty nasty. Let's see how this one does. Alright, no Rakari this turn, and it looks like I can one-shot that before it draws a card. Could play Conditioning here, there's no way that's better than playing Varian. Could go face with this weapon. Put them to 8, they play Rakara. And then I just potentially have 10 with Sword Eater and the Varian. I've seen double shiver their timbers. Seems like Varian's pretty hard to kill. Also, maybe if they gain like a little bit of extra armor, I can get a cannon shot to go face or something. I could go, like, Sword Eater, kill something with Shiver Their Timbers, and then Circus Amalgam to get the shots off. Alright, they kill my Varian, but no Rakara this turn, so... Pretty worthwhile slowdown. They play Heavy Plate in their Pirate Warrior. That's very interesting. Uh, well, I think I, I do want to play Conditioning here. I could hold it for another turn and get more out of it, but I think I just need to be making power plays to make Rakara awkward. I guess I'll just do this. I deal, what, 9 damage this turn? It's pretty good. If I draw a Blood Sail deck hand, or maybe even like Harbor Scamp into something, then I can play Rakara next turn. And even if I'm like a turn or two behind on Rakara, I have so much more health than my opponent that I think it might be good enough. And also this board just might not be manageable. Alright, they gained a bunch of armor, but I'm still dealing quite a lot of damage here. Oh, and I drew the good pirate. Oh, baby. I cannot believe I played Rakara before my opponent this game. Uh, probably kill the minion since I do have a 6-3 I could trade into. My opponent probably needs, like, Barov Minefield here, and then they could also play Rakara, and then they need to high roll me on the Rakara a few times. Powerful, but not good enough. 
Not sure what would be good enough here. Bear off plus uh, the zero mana spell that makes my things attack their bear off. I'm sure they don't play that card though. Provoke, I think it's called. Easy game. Yeah, it seems like the hand buffs really carried in the mirror, and heavy plate didn't quite pull its weight. <laughs> 